Welcome to today's video where we dive deep into the concept of Judeo-Christian values and explore the issues surrounding this controversial term. This idea has been increasingly popularized by right-wing populists who use it to define an idyllic, unified set of Western values. But what do these values really mean and do they even exist? We're going to challenge the notion of Judeo-Christian values, a term you may have heard of. We'll explore the history of the term and why it's a misnomer, discuss how it's being weaponized to push a narrow exclusionary agenda, examine the differences between Jewish and Christian values, and finally argue for the importance of rejecting divisive rhetoric in favor of global cooperation and integration. To properly understand the term Judeo-Christian values, it's important to understand where it came from and why it's a misnomer. The term first emerged in the United States in the mid 20th century as a way to promote religious tolerance and inclusivity by stressing the commonalities between Judaism and Christianity. However, its meaning has since evolved and has been co-opted for political purposes. Renowned scholar Arthur A. Cohen in his book The Myth of the Judeo-Christian Tradition argues that the term is misleading and obscures the unique and distinctive histories, traditions and values of both Judaism and Christianity. Cohen contends that the term glosses over the deep theological differences between the two religions and oversimplifies the rich, diverse cultural experiences of their respective adherents. So the question arises, if Judeo-Christian values is an imprecise term that doesn't accurately represent the values of either Judaism or Christianity, why has it persisted and gained such popularity? It becomes increasingly evident that its widespread adoption has more to do with political manipulation than an accurate reflection of shared beliefs. This term, initially conceived to foster religious tolerance, has been hijacked by right-wing populists who exploit it to promote an exclusionary, nationalistic narrative. These populists argue that Judeo-Christian values are the bedrock of Western civilization, a supposed shared heritage that unites the West against th external threats such as immigration and religious diversity. However, this narrative is a thinly veiled attempt to create an us versus them mentality that stokes fear and justifies discrimination against minority groups. By using Judeo-Christian values as a rallying cry, these politicians are not only misrepresenting the complex, intertwined history of Jewish and Christian thought, but they are also enforcing a false notion of a monolithic Western culture. This deliberate distortion of history disregards the fact that the West has always been a melting pot of different religions, cultures and ideas. In her influential book, The Origins of Totalitarianism, political theorist Hannah Arendt argues against the dangers of such exclusionary thinking, stating that the ideal subject of the totalitarian rule is not the convinced Nazi or the dedicated communists, but people for whom the distinction between fact and fiction, true and false, no longer exists. Arendt warns us that embracing a distorted narrative, such as the one perpetuated by the proponents of Judeo-Christian values, can have grave consequences for society. It is essential to acknowledge the pluralistic nature of the Western world. Over the centuries, the West has been influenced by various religious, philosophical and cultural traditions, including those originating from ancient Greece and Rome, the Enlightenment and even Islamic scholarship. To reduce the entirety of Western thought and values to a simplistic Judeo-Christian values is not only misguided, but also serves to erase the rich tapestry of ideas that have shaped our societies. As philosopher and historian Isaiah Berlin famously stated, to understand is to perceive patterns. By distorting the patterns of influence and simplifying the diverse intellectual history of the West, proponents of Judeo-Christian values attempt to forge a unified narrative that advances their political agenda. This distortion is not only disingenuous, but also dangerous. It fosters an environment where dissenting voices and minority perspectives are dismissed or even silenced. To challenge this false narrative, we must recognize and celebrate the multitude of influences that have shaped the Western world. We can expose the illusion of a unified set of Western values and dismantle this divisive rhetoric that seeks to pit us against one another.
Now that we've seen that a single unified set of Western values is a myth, let's turn our attention to the very religious terms Judeo-Christian values seeks to conflate, Judaism and Christianity. By examining the core beliefs and principles, we can see the significant differences that make the term Judeo-Christian values imprecise and offensive to both faiths. Judaism, one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, is deeply rooted in the covenantal relationship between the Jewish people and God as expressed through the Torah and its commandments. Central to Judaism is the concept of ethical monotheism, which emphasizes moral behavior and social justice as key expressions of one's faith. Christianity, on the other hand, revolves around the life and teachings of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe to be the Son of God and the Messiah. While Christianity shares certain moral principles with Judaism, its core tenets differ significantly. The doctrine of the Trinity, divinity of Jesus and salvation through faith in Jesus Christ are all uniquely Christian beliefs. These fundamental differences between Judaism and Christianity make the term Judeo-Christian values not only imprecise but also disrespectful. It glosses over the unique aspects of each faith and perpetuates a false sense of homogeneity. Renowned religious scholar Karen Armstrong emphasizes this point in her book A History of God, where she states, There is no objective view of religion or religiousness. Both these terms are highly loaded and they mean different things to different people. Law professor Stephen M. Feldman wrote about the invocation of Judeo-Christian tradition in Europe in the period before 1950. Once one recognizes that Christianity has historically engendered anti-Semitism, then this so-called tradition appears as dangerous Christian dogma, at least from a Jewish perspective. For Christians, the concept of a Judeo-Christian tradition comfortably suggests that Judaism progresses into Christianity, that Judaism is somehow completed in Christianity. The concept of a Judeo-Christian tradition flows from the Christian theology of supersession, whereby the Christian covenant or testament with God supersedes the Jewish one. Christianity, according to this belief, reforms and replaces Judaism. The belief, therefore, implies first, that Judaism needs reformation and replacement, and second, that modern Judaism remains merely as a relic. Most importantly, the belief of the Judeo-Christian tradition insidiously obscures the real and significant differences between Judaism and Christianity. The term Judeo-Christian values fails to capture the complexity and diversity of Western thought and it ignores the significant differences between the religious traditions it purports to represent. As we've seen, the term Judeo-Christian values is imprecise and fails to capture the true complexity of Western thought and the distinct values of Judaism and Christianity. However, this issue extends beyond just this specific term. The broader problem lies in the notion of defining societies or cultures by a single set of values, a practice that often leads to essentialism and exclusion. Essentialism is the belief that groups of people or cultures have a fixed, unchanging essence that defines them. This oversimplification neglects the diversity and dynamism within any given culture or society. When we label a set of values as adjective values, be it Judeo-Christian, Islamic, Asian or any other designation, we perpetuate stereotypes and create a false division between people. The consequences of essentialist thinking are dire. As history has shown, it leads to discrimination, persecution and violence against those who are perceived as other of or who don't fit the prescribed mold. Sociologist Zygmunt Bauman in his book Modernity and Ambivalence cautions against the dangers of essentialism. The urge to purge is the reverse side of the compulsion to build identity, as identity is the reverse side of ambivalence. To combat this dangerous tendency, we must reject any type of adjective values rhetoric that seeks to define groups or cultures by a single set of values. Instead, we should embrace the reality of cultural diversity and work towards understanding and appreciating the richness and complexity of human experiences. Now that we've identified the dangers of essentialism and exclusionary rhetoric, it's time to focus on positive alternatives global cooperation and integration. 
In an increasingly interconnected world, we must recognize that we share common humanity and that our fates are inextricably linked. Foster collaboration and understanding across different cultures and belief systems so we can work together to solve global challenges and create a more inclusive and just world. Prominent philosopher and sociologist Jürgen Habermas argues that the key to building such a world lies in embracing what he calls constitutional patriotism. This idea emphasizes the shared values and norms of democratic societies such as human rights, freedom of speech and social justice rather than focusing on ethnic, religious or cultural identities. By rallying around these principles, people from diverse backgrounds can unite to create more inclusive and democratic societies. In addition to embracing shared democratic values, we must also cultivate empathy, curiosity and open-mindedness in our interactions with people from different cultures and belief systems. This approach, known as cosmopolitanism, is advocated by philosopher Kwame Anthony Apaya. In his book Cosmopolitanism – Ethics in a World of Strangers, Apaya encourages us to engage with others in a spirit of humility and to recognize our shared humanity even as we celebrate our differences. Rejecting the adjective values rhetoric and embracing global cooperation and integration are crucial steps towards building a more inclusive, equitable and democratic world. Acknowledge our common humanity, value cultural diversity and focus on shared democratic principles, resist exclusionary ideologies and work together to address the challenges that face us all. Before we conclude, let's take a moment to spotlight some individuals who frequently use the Judeo-Christian values rhetoric in their discourse, often with specific agendas in mind. Dutch politician and founder of the right-wing party Forum for Democracy, Thierry Baudet, is known for promoting the idea of Judeo-Christian values as a defense against what he perceives as threats to Dutch culture and identity, particularly from immigration and multiculturalism. By invoking this term, Baudet wants to create an us versus them narrative to, de to justify his exclusionary politics. As the former White House chief strategist under President Trump, Steve Bannon has been a vocal advocate for Judeo-Christian values in his political and media career. He frequently cites these values as the foundation of Western civilization and uses them as a rallying cry to mobilize right-wing nationalists against perceived threats such as globalism and secularism. Bannon's promotion of Judeo-Christian values serves to create a unifying narrative for his nationalist agenda. As the leader of France's National Front, now known as the National Rally, Marine Le Pen has long championed Judeo-Christian values as a central component of French identity. By employing this rhetoric, Le Pen aims to mobilize support for our anti-emigration and anti-Islam policies, framing them as necessary measures to protect French's cultural identity. These individuals and others like them utilize the Judeo-Christian values rhetoric to advance their political agendas with the ultimate goal of promoting exclusionary and nationalist policies. We must understand their motivations and recognize the inaccuracies in their claims so we can resist the manipulation of their divisive rhetoric. As we've seen throughout this video, the concept of Judeo-Christian values is a misnomer that fails to represent the true complexity of Western thought and the distinct values of Judaism and Christianity. More importantly, the term has been weaponized by right-wing populist individuals and political movements to promote exclusionary and nationalist agendas, fostering division rather than unity. It is our responsibility as global citizens to challenge and call out this rhetoric whenever and wherever we encounter it. By doing so, we will help dismantle the falsehoods perpetuated by those who exploit this term for their own purposes and we can work together to create a more inclusive, diverse and cooperative world. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content on critical issues that affect us all.